It's a relief to see you again, my lord. I took the stealth fighter for a test flight, performed a full systems test. We can leave for Malgus' station on your mark. Are those injuries going to interfere with your job? I've cleared a medical examination. Nothing short of death would keep me from aiding the betrayer's fall. Now steal yourself. Time we destroy a false emperor. Welcome to the heart of our new empire. I am Arcus Wood, engineer, architect, artist. Serve Darth Malgus well, and my technological creations will serve you. With the right application of technology, the impossible comes to life. We can travel faster than light. We can construct an entire fleet in weeks, and we can make the visible invisible. So when you see my engineers performing feats that make the Force look like child's play, Remember that anything is possible. The Trend Oceans are fierce, loyal warriors. Shunning them was the fault of the short-sighted Dark Council. Random off Regus just sent word. The Imperial fleet will be here shortly. The Stealth Armada. These vessels will shape the galaxy on invisible wings. Such greatness is only attained by the marriage of animal and engineering and the Foundry. A few upgrades and the Foundry droids can process Adegan crystals and construct stealth squadrons in record time. Darth Malgus united our technologies, as he will unite the galaxy. Can't assist! Fighters on my tail! Look for defensive turrets! Something to turn against that scum! Emperor Malgus says hello. among the first to join me. He will become a martyr, and others will flock to continue his fight. You may have noticed our recent improvements. Upgraded turbo blazers replaced last generation turrets. Specialized flux cannons can disintegrate capital ships with a single blast. But most importantly, we installed state-of-the-art stealth technology. This station is completely invisible. From the skies, our empire will unite the galaxy, and Darth Malgus will be our emperor. You are in the power core, the brain of this space station, and my domain. If you are not a member of the Schism Collective, turn back. This place is not for you. The Imperial fleet has arrived! Look around you. This station's power is a testament to the Animid's technical prowess. The old Empire shunned them, but I encouraged and embraced their talents. Thus, tolerance breeds strength. No end to these stealth fighters. I've scratched dozens and they're still swarming. You're going to enjoy this, my lord. Flux cannons fire, and an Imperial capital ship is disintegrated. The Sism Collective has crafted this battle station into the galaxy's greatest technological marvel. Not even your entire fleet can take us down. The Imperial fleet will crush this battle station, but first, your throat. Interjection. Silence me, Bags. Do not move, Sith. Your force cannot corrupt my targeting data. The first shot will immobilize you. The second will spill your slippery components onto the floor. I should have known Malgus would rebuild you after I destroyed you in the foundry. Bitter recollection. A fault in my assassination protocol allowed your victory. My upgrades will prevent the error from repeating. Weapons activated? Assassination protocol engaged? I have been looking forward to this. Advisor, prepare to die! Guards! Reinforcements! Somebody help! Oh. 
please. Those things I said and HK, it was all a misunderstanding. Just let me live. You are an ally to Malgus the Betrayer and a traitor to the Empire. He's in the power core, Emperor Malgus. He's coming! <laughs> Thank you for the warning, Arcus Woad. Don't keep me waiting, Sith. You dare face me alone? How bold and foolish. The Emperor's wrath. Fitting that we meet within his chambers. He was kind enough to keep his throne warm for me. Welcome to my throne room. So much history, so many glory days that slipped away from us. The Emperor is dead. Long live the new Emperor. I respect your perseverance, Malgus, but not your claim to power. You're not as foolish as you look. The Empire is withering away. Soon it will be obliterated by decadence and antiquated ideals. Yet still you struggle to keep it from healing, don't you see? Our survival demands a new empire, tempered by alien alliances and strengthened by tolerance. I've seen the empire's weakness. We must change to survive, but you're going about it the wrong way. You are perceptive, but still you have much to learn. Emergency warning. Power core override engaged. Self-destruct initiated. I really have to do that. The loss of this battle station is insignificant if it sees the Empire's change. The blast will wipe out your fleet, and only I can deactivate the destruction cycle. Die, or defeat me. Either way, the Empire is reborn. Power levels critical. Warning. Estimated blast radius 1.92 kilometers. Minimum safe distance 2.4 kilometers. Reactor overload. Primary systems failing. Meltdown imminent. My lord, we are honored. Our council is most impressed with your performance. Malgus the Betrayer is dead. You have destroyed the False Emperor. Not even Darth Malgus could weaken our grip on the galaxy. Hear, hear. General Hesker, your service to the Empire is flawless, as always. What news from the battlefield? Our fleet suffered casualties, but the survivors escaped the station's blast. The Reclamation Service already scars the wreckage. Excellent. Contrary to Malgus' claims, the Empire is stronger than ever. Meanwhile, a traitor's flock is abandoning the flaming ruins of his heretical revolution. The Empire's strength is waning. Our survival may depend on adopting some of the Betrayer's ideals. The Dark Council has noted the traitor's creed. We shall discuss them elsewhere. We were in a grave place. Intelligence disbanded, much of the Dark Council slain, and the children of the Emperor defeated. But a new age is upon us. Already our strength rallies after the fall of Darth Malgus. The Empire's power is surging, my lord. For the Sith and all our citizens, we will rule the galaxy once more. <laughs>